So here we are at Superbooth 2018, and I'm with Tom at Audacy, makers of rather special headphones. Yeah, so all, all Audacy headphones are what's called planar dynamic. Planar uh, dynamic? Yeah, so basically it's a very thin film, in some cases uh, less than a micron thick, right. etched with a circuit, and then there's magnets that drive the whole film uniformly, so they're very, wow. very low distortion. Okay, so that's, that would be as opposed to just like your regular kind of driver, like... Yeah, speaker cone. Speaker yeah, cone. Yeah, totally. Right. Ooh, interesting. So, useful for sort of like fine, you know, uh, critical mastering type applications. Yeah. So this is our most popular studio model. This is called the LCDX. Right. It's about four years old now. Okay. Uh, but it was um, developed to be as close to a mastering grade studio as possible. Wow. It's been used by mastering engineers all over the world. Everyone from Manny Mannequin to Stuart Hawks at Metropolis. And in fact, most of the guys at Metropolis have had a pair of these. Wow. And the only reason they may not have a pair is they've now progressed on to one of our other sets. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah. Right, so, okay, so these are for, but you're here to show something new, I guess? Yeah, so mm. but the feedback that we've got, we've got people like uh, feed me who literally travel the world with a set of these in a flight case because it means they can take their studio with them they can always work they can always be productive to that sort of level mm. well Odyssey have listened to that and today for the first time in Germany we're showing off Mobius mm. now Mobius is a very portable headphone it's actually it's technically it's sort of digital because everything's built into the headphone itself. With all the other LCD range, mm -hmm. they've all um, purely analog. There's no DSP, there's no EQ, there's nothing. Um, with this, it's totally the other way. So, you have USB connectivity. Uh, that's a USB-C connector. You've got 3.5 mil analog jack, um, and that's line level. So you don't need a DAC, you don't need an so amp. This is essentially an audio interface in the headphones. Exactly. Um, and also, you can pull the cable, it's Bluetooth. So it's a 10 hour battery. Not only is it Bluetooth um, and it supports the Apple AAC codec from an iPhone, mm -hmm. but for the first time ever in a non Sony headphone, it also supports a protocol called LDAC. Now, LDAC is near lossless streaming via Bluetooth. Um, it's been implemented in Android, so anything that's running Android Oreo or above now supports LDAC streaming. And this is going to be the okay. first non-Sony headphone to come to market uh, with that feature. Wow. Lossless Bluetooth or near lossless Bluetooth. Yeah, and, and it's promised to be lower latency as well. Wow. So, um, yeah, top, top marks to uh, yeah. the uh, boys at Google for implementing that one. Yeah. Um, so, uh, this is one of the. This is a prototype. Uh, there's only an absolute handful of these at the mm. minute, but we, um, the actual driver design is finished. So we've been letting people have a listen to it. Mm -hmm. um, it's got DSP built in, and one of the great things is it's actually a closed back. Um, all, the LCDX is an open back model, and through the simple driver design, it has a very sort of neutral frequency response. Now, with a closed back, you're always working against sort of the reflection off the back of the cup. Well, that's been compensated with, um, at least in some way, uh, with the DSP. Okay. So actually, you end up with something that's still really, really rather accurate. It's still got a very similar tone to LCDX. It's, we're not saying that it, it's better, but essentially, you want that sort of sound signature into a closed back. That's what we've managed to do. Wow. And it's super portable, and also, they've thought about people and how they want to use it. It's like, it's a multi-purpose headphone. It's designed to get put in your bag. It's designed to get moved. So, the actual headband is flexible. So, it, well? it doesn't fold up. Um, but it's basically, you can put it in and you don't have to worry about um, actual movement on the headphone. It's also a headset, as it will come with a uh, um, micro microphone. Neat. So you can use that for VoIP, you can use it for gaming, or you can actually set it up as TalkBack. If you're running a Mac, you set up an aggregate interface, um, and that shows up as two channels on the input. Um, the next feature is that, I, I keep sort of going on, but it's so packed with stuff. Okay. Um, 
Odyssey have worked with, in conjunction with Waves to do this next one, and it's basically integrated Waves NX oh, into that. a headphone. Interesting. So rather than NX, which ran on the computer mm -hmm. as a plug-in, yeah. uh, and then worked with a separate head tracker. And head tracker, yeah. Yeah. Well, this has got it built in. No way. The head tracker is built into the headphone. Ah. And actually, Waves NX itself, the processing, is processing inside, inside the headphone. Fantastic. So no matter what you feed it with, um, you still yeah. have access to all of that movement. So my criticism with NX was the fact that you had to always have it on the output bus. Yes. And it was really easy to forget when you press the render your mix and end up oh, rendering totally. your mix through the NX. Absolutely. Which is a disaster. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, you know, so that's yeah. a much better idea. Totally. So yeah. NX is built in. Yeah. Um, and if you connect up 7.1 into the headphone via USB, mm -hmm. it's 7.1 or 5.1. Right. Um, but literally, you can use it for playback. It's class compliant, yep. so you can use it with anything that normally supports it, games or So let's just back films. up a little bit for people who might not know what NX is. Yeah. You, with that, say, 7.1, when you've got those on, rather than it sort of simulating a 7-1, you can actually move your head around in that, you can move over to a speaker, Yes. and you can move around that sonic surround sound space. Yes, absolutely. So the, the idea of that is, it's just, especially if you're working like in authoring, so if you're developing a video for 360 video or VR, um, or um, computer games. We've had a real good big interest yeah. in game uh, sound designers mm. um, in that they can, rather than having to work everything in a, a surround sound studio, especially if they go into the office and they're making sort of tweaks to a game, the thought that they could just use the headphones um, to make those adjustments yeah. when they're w working with the other developers, it cuts down a lot of time. Yeah. Um, so the final version will have a control panel where you'll be able to go in and do all the fine adjustments. Right. Um, but basically, all of that is taken care of in the headphones. So there's no DSP, uh, there's no CPU load. Um, so you know, it's it maintains its integrity. So can you then? on the headphone switch to just like a sort of standard stereo monitor to the surround sound without yes. having to use a computer then? Yeah, uh, um, totally. So it's a simple, you just hold the uh, 3D button down for about uh, five seconds right. and then that it switches between uh, the stereo and the surround mode. Okay. Um, also, it has got a, a mode where you can actually do stereo uh, surround. So in the same way that NX did, uh, it um, virtualizes two large columns, right. um, and you can get that as well if you want to simulate sort of how like something's going to sound, sound in, a room. in a certain type of room. Excellent. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So, um, do we know when it's going to be shipping then? Um, it's going to be late June uh, okay. or July. It's not too far off. And not too far off. Have any prices been mooched around for it? Yes. Okay. So, um, in dollars, mm -hmm. it's going to be about 399 Okay. And in pounds, we're hoping somewhere below 349 Okay, that sounds very reasonable then. Yes. Yeah. But in the context with the price of the previous price. Yeah, so um, the... LCDX um, in pounds at the minute is selling for about uh, 10.99. So uh, it's quite it's quite a saving, and in fact, we've got I've had lots of people who already own LCDX yeah. say I want a set of these just right. for all the times yeah, the that we can't use um, the X's. It's for you know for on the train, on the plane. Um, they, now they don't have uh, active noise cancelling on them, but instead they based it on having very good isolation because essentially when you run active noise cancellation, it's got a mic on the outside. It's putting a corrective signal through on the inside but that means the diaphragm's actually moving so it's kind of getting modulated on top of the right. signal you actually want to reproduce so they made a decision that it shouldn't be uh, they shouldn't change the sound that's right. actually coming out of them mm -hmm. so no matter what environment you're in you're still getting that exact planar quality with real sharp wow. transients have they got planar drivers then in these? yes oh, so all of those all of right. all odyssey are all always planar okay very well, I'm, I'm keen to hear them, but yeah. uh, this is something that we sadly can't share with the uh, listeners. Unfortunately but not. Chuck them on me, Ed, and let's have a listen. Yeah. Have a go. <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Thanks. That's all right. So, have you got something you can play through for it for me? I don't know how much fun this is going to be for you guys out there, but it's going to be a lot of fun for me. I'll, uh, I'll try and give you a, uh, a sort of, a, a, like a kind of running kind of reaction to uh, what I'm listening to. 
I'm going to be raving now. There isn't a speaker there. <laughs> oh, that fooled me. That genuinely fooled me. That is genuinely fooling me. That is really fooling me. I thought it, I thought it was there. It's not, it's in there. All right, I'm fooled. It's, it, <laughs> oh wow, Andy, you gotta try it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. That was amazing. I honestly thought that you had big speakers that you turned on and yeah. it really did fool me then. That genuinely, genuinely fooled me then. I feel a bit embarrassed how fooled I was. <laughs> <laughs> Considering I do mastering and stuff as well, so it's like, oh no! So that's yes. very cool. In, in the final version of it, right. you'll be able to actually choose how big a room is being virtualized. Right. Right. Um, and also you'll be able to input the things like your head do, geometry, um, to really fine tune the effect right. for you as how you would normally li wow. listen to something. Oh, well that definitely fooled me. So maybe my head is the optimal size. Ah, could be. The optimal, I've got the <laughs> optimal sized head for mastering apparently. Tom just told me that. <laughs> What, huge? <laughs> huge! <laughs> and the beauty of this is, I mean, even if, even if you forget all of the 3D functions, you've actually got a very, really very nice. good yeah. uh, closed back headphone. And one of the great things is it's got profiles in it. So you, at the flick of a switch, you can go from a profile, which is kind of like the uh, ideal listening curve, uh, based on the Harman curve, um, or you can go flat response, mm. or um, you can change between a variety so you of different. Have it as, you could actually have like a kind of like a nice listening, you know. Yeah, like a, yeah, you no, totally. Because often, uh, yeah, often yeah. every although everyone kind of is after this flat response ideal, yeah. a lot of the time it isn't actually what you right. really want you to listen off, to. Have a little yeah, vibey you want a little listen. vibey thing. Yeah. So you should be able to have those different settings and let you just swap through them. And because it's doing all of that inside the headphone itself, it doesn't matter what you're connected to, be it Bluetooth or USB or yeah. the analog. Amazing. Tom, cool. thank you so thank much. You very much. My mind's a bit blown. Good. Yeah, amazing. <laughs>